As we come to the close of high school graduations, let's remember our multi-talented students, many of whom are moving on to college in the fall. Some of these students are from Einstein High School's Visual Arts Center program. MCPS TV visited their showcase earlier this spring. The VAC is a very unusual program, perhaps unique in the United States. It's a portfolio development program that's been sponsored and supported by MCPS for 40 years. We're really a small learning community that's designed to develop talent and get kids ready for college. Many of VAC kids take 8, 9, 10, 11 AP exams and pass them. So we've got a very bright community. We're interested in the kids developing not just a creative, funky sense of making art. They understand industry. They're looking forward to the future. So we are teaching kids how to solve problems, how to analyze situations, and to become artists in the future. When people see my art, they, they kind of know me a little bit, and they understand what I'm communicating. Because I'm interested in illustration, and communication is the root of that. I believe that, as an artist, you can use any medium to express what you want to create. You can use paint, acrylic, um, ebony pencil, contact crayon. It doesn't matter as long as you're expressing like what you feel as an artist. I've always been doing art. I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. All this is just bits of information on my adoption. And um, this is my family, like the day I came home um, to America. And then I think these letters right here are just this is like me introducing myself in Chinese and that I was adopted. And this was a little area right by the um, orphanage that I was adopted in. So I think everything's just really important and tied together really well. This is all data from Boston, Massachusetts, Texas, Maryland. And in creating this series, I wanted to combine objective and subjective thinking. And it showed my personality. It showed my interest. This made me stand out. And I got into Carnegie Mellon. And I think that this was definitely something that contributed to my acceptance. A lot of the pieces have the word zero tolerance across them, kind of just trying to bring this, this policy into the forefront of, uh, I, I want people to think about it and talk about it. I think if the public comes to see, they will be shocked that, you know, students that are from 15 to 18 have created a body of work that is so strong and pieces that really talk to you.